Recently, SCS Software released 1.47 update. There was a 1.47 beta for a little while, and then they released 1.47. A couple of things they changed in this were related to materials and how they were handled on the back end according to the game. They look a little bit different now, and if you're using converter picks wrapper to import them into Blender, you're going to come across a problem where it doesn't understand the new material type. However, there has been a rescue of sorts. So I'm going to show you what the materials look like now, what they used to look like, and how we can import the new things like the brand new VNL and have them not show up as big black squares saying that we don't understand what material you're trying to use now. So let's get started. Notice in front of you is a screen with two screenshots of a text file, which is in fact, in fact a mat file for the skid steer loader, which is um, a it's a load on a flatbed trailer or a R, uh, RGN actually, um, and also a stationary object in the game. If you look at the top above my head, you'll see this here, ATS underscore 146. So this was the 146 base. I pulled the information from to find out what the material was. As you can see, it says material dot eu2.diff.spec.add.nv.rfx, which is normal. That's what we're normally seeing or have been seeing in 1.46 and previous this is what the material handling looked like change down here to the base 147 you'll notice the same file though it's listed as a different name you can see that it is the same it's the material that calls this skid steer loader color tobj it says effect it doesn't say material it says effect. Now, on import, converter picks wrapper doesn't understand this because the last time it was updated was for pre 1.45. Um, I think it might even be 1.44. So it doesn't understand that effect is now the same as material. So it's not converting these properly. And then it doesn't understand what you're trying to do. So it just shows up all the materials as black squares because it can't load this. It doesn't know what effect means. But there's a way to fix it. I'm going to show you now. Here's a familiar screen for my videos. Blender. This, in case, is 3.3.5, which is the latest LTS version, which is what I try to use long-term service. That means it's going to be in service for the longest period of time and will be... Um, supported by the community for a longer period of time so they will always do new releases over top of this but this will be what's considered their latest stable release the lts so that's what that's what i usually work with that was the same with 2.93 and before that 2.83 so i'm sticking with 3.3.5 currently when you've loaded converter picks wrapper in and you go to the preferences you want to find this in your list of enabled add-ons. If you click the down arrow button, it'll tell you what it does and who is the author, 50 Kata. And then it says update converter picks executable. Now, if you do this, what this does is it actually pulls from the GitHub site where the executable is stored. What that means is that once you've selected this, it will pull a file, which I will show you next, that covers some of the issues that folks have been having with 1.47. So let's take a look at that next. Now here is the GitHub page for ConverterPix. The master was created by 
MWL4, and he recently committed this change on March 24th, which actually is quite a long time ago, I would guess at the beginning of the beta. But as you can see, there are things like this, pre and post 147. So he's added the changes like here for the material converter to make it convert into the old format because the game still reads the old format. It's just Blender and the Blender tools does not yet. So I don't know how long this is going to last past 1.47 until they give us uh, Blender tools or they uh, provide information about what he would need to change in order to get it to convert to the effect situation that we're currently dealing with. But right now, this is our fix. So it's going to convert all of these materials into saying material colon instead of effect colon, which the game still recognizes, but it will change uh, will change the material to the truck that you're working with. So this, I think, is a slow slow change over time, kind of like they're doing with the sounds, which is going to uh, really utilize the DirectX 11 system that they implemented quite a long time ago, which was point, uh, 1.40, I believe. So um, this is going to help you import items from the base and uh, from the SCS base and from uh, any trucks or things like that after one, uh, one four seven, uh, this recent update. So that way you can work on the trucks in blender again, without having any importing issues with black textures on everything. I hope this helped you in your quest to become the next great modder in American truck simulator. We'll see you next time.